In this video, we're going to talk about some of the basic properties of logarithms. Now, let's not lose track of our focus. Our, our goal, ultimately, is to be able to solve exponential equations. Exponential equations like this. 3 to the 2x plus 1 equals 80. Okay, find the value of x that makes that true. Okay, and we're not going to be able to solve this type of thing unless we know about logarithms. And more specifically, unless we know about some of the properties of logarithms. So some of these properties are going to seem confusing. You might understand, oh yeah, I understand why this is, that this is true, but what is the use of it? Well, what, are we, what are we going to need this for? Well, we're going to use them to solve equations. Okay, so let's not lose track of that focus. Now in this video, we're just going to look at some of the basic properties of logarithms. In the next video, we'll look at uh, some properties that are a little bit more involved. Uh, they have names to them, the, the product property, the quotient property, the power property. But in this video, we're just going to look at four uh, what I call basic properties of logarithms. So let's suppose that x and a are positive real numbers with a not equal to 1, and that r is uh, just any real number. Okay, and we're going to derive these formulas for ourselves here. Okay, log base a of 1, what's that equal to? Well, the question is really a to the what power equals 1? Isn't it a to the 0 power? Okay, a to the 0 power equals 1, no matter what a is. Okay, as, as a quick example, log base 7 of 1 is equal to 0. Okay, 7 to the 0 power equals 1. Okay, and the next one, log base a of a, what's that equal to? Well, a to the what power equals a. Isn't it a to the 1 power equals a? Yeah, so as an example, log base 5 of 5 is equal to 1, because 5 to the 1 power equals 5. OK, the next one, uh, we have uh, log base a of a to the r. What's that equal to? Well, the question, again, is a to the what power would equal a to the r? Well, of course, a to the r equals a to the r. OK, so as an example, uh, log base 2 of 2 to the 13th power, what's that? Well, 2 to the 13th power, that's just some big number. I don't even know what it is off the top of my head. But let's suppose that that number was, was sitting right here. Then 2 to the what power would equal that number? Well, of course, 2 to the 13th is going to equal 2 to the 13th. Okay, the last one I think maybe is the most difficult one to kind of understand. Uh, it says a to the log base a of r equals something. Okay, so notice it's a little different than these. These ones started log base a of something equals something. But here we have a to the log base a of r, what's that equal to? Well, let's look at a quick example. Uh, 5 to the log base 5 of 125, what is that equal to? Well, first of all, what is log base 5 of 125? Isn't it 3? Okay, log base 5 of 125, that's 3. And then what's 5 to the third power? Wouldn't that be equal to 125? Okay, now why did it end up being 125? <clears throat> well, when you're saying 5 to the log base 5 of 125, what, what do you mean? Okay, well, what, what is log base 5 of 125? We said it's 3, but what does it mean to say that it's 3? What does it mean to say that log base 5 of 125 is 3? What is this number? Well, it's the number that you would need to raise 5 to, okay, the power that you would need to raise 5 to in order to get 125. Okay, so what if you raise 5 to that power, what do you get? You get 125. Okay, let, let's do another example. 5 to the log base 5 of, let's say, 37. Now that one's not so clear. What is log base 5 of 37? It's going to be some crazy decimal. It'll be 2 point something. Okay, but what is the number really? What does uh, log base 5 of 125 mean? Well, it means it's the power that you need to raise 5 to in order to get 37. Okay, I meant to say 37. It's the power that you need to raise 5 to in order to get 37. So what if you raise 5 to that power, what do you get? Well, of course you get 37. Okay, so again here, what does log base a of r mean? It's the power you need to raise a to in order to get r. So what if you raise a to that power, what do you get? You get r. Okay, so that one might be a little bit uh, confusing, but definitely I would try to remember this one right here and uh, part, part C and D.